Hi guys, my name is Lexi. I'm the Discovery on Wheels educator for Discovery Children's Museum here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And today I'm going to show you guys a really cool chemistry experiment where we're actually going to change the color of pennies. Now all you'll need for this experiment are some paper towels, a plate, some vinegar, and some regular pennies just like these guys right here. Now when we do an experiment, we always want to have a control group. The control group is basically the group that we don't do any experimenting on so that when we're done, we can compare the results of our experiment to the group that we didn't do any tests on. So I'm going to take two of my pennies right here and set them off to the side. Those are going to be our control group. Now let's set up our experimental group. To do that, all you're going to need to do is take a paper towel, fold it up so it fits nicely on your plate, and lay the pennies on top of that paper towel, making sure they're not touching each other or laying on top of each other. So now we want to soak all of these pennies in vinegar. Since my container of vinegar is pretty big, I put the vinegar in a measuring cup to make it a little easier to pour, but it doesn't matter how much vinegar you use, as long as you cover all of the pennies and make sure you soak that paper towel too vinegar all over our plate here. Now this experiment does take a couple hours to start working, but I'll kind of explain the science behind what you're about to see. The surface of pennies here is made out of copper, and that copper sometimes reacts with the oxygen found in the air. We call that oxidation. Oxidation is also what causes rust on metal, so these pennies are basically rusting. Now, at first, the vinegar is going to dissolve that layer of copper and oxygen on the surface of this penny. So the pennies might actually look shinier at first. But once we dissolve that layer of oxidized copper, we expose the fresh copper underneath, and that copper is going to oxidize again with pretty cool results. Check it out! So it's been about five hours since I started this experiment. If you want to let it go any longer than five hours, you're more than welcome to. This experiment can go up to several days, but you might want to add a little bit more vinegar to the paper towel. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our results and compare them to our control group right here. So we have this penny that doesn't appear to be showing too much color. We have this one with a couple splotches of color, a little bit on the back too. It's really interesting to look at the years of pennies and how much oxidation they have because pennies as the years go on have actually been made out of less and less copper. They're starting to add more zinc, which doesn't oxidize, which is what makes this penny right here really weird. This is a 2015 penny, but it actually oxidized the best out of all of my pennies. So I'm not actually quite sure why that happened, but you can even see a little bit of, let's get it back in focus, a little bit of a sparkle to it, which I think is pretty cool. And of course, if we compare these experimental pennies to our control pennies, these control pennies are looking pretty boring, pretty shiny right here. Now, the cool thing, I want to go back to this sparkly one here. The cool thing about this oxidation of copper is that it can make a really pretty mineral called malachite. And I actually have a piece of that right here. So this piece of malachite was mined right here in Nevada. It's from Lyon County. And in copper mines, there's a oxidation zone where basically the copper in the mine will undergo the same process we just did here and it'll turn green making this really pretty malachite. This oxidation is also the reason the Statue of Liberty is green. The Statue of Liberty, when we first got it, it was a gift from France, it was shiny and copper, just like these pennies used to be. But over time, the seawater has sped up the oxidation of the Statue of Liberty, causing the whole body to turn green, just like these pennies right here.
Now, if you're a little worried about paying at the store with pennies that look like this, go ahead and combine a half cup of vinegar with about a tablespoon of salt. Let the pennies soak in that mixture for about 15 minutes, then scrub the pennies with an old toothbrush and run the pennies under some running water. It's really important to rinse the pennies when you're done cleaning them, because otherwise, if we leave the vinegar on there, it's going to start the oxidation reaction over again, and we'll still end up with green pennies. It's also important not to leave the pennies in that solution for too long. By combining salt and vinegar, we create a slightly stronger acid that given a few weeks could actually dissolve the pennies entirely. And we don't wanna lose money like that. So make sure you only leave them in there for 15 minutes. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys had a lot of fun learning some cool chemistry stuff and I hope to see you guys again soon. Take care.